Oh, I didn't break a line. Oh, oh I'm not flying forwards anymore. Woo! This is exciting. Oh, a rabbit. Well, I was not expecting that. morning it's 7:41. Um, I'm down by Mavora Lakes just driving up the Mount Nicholas Station Road and I'm gonna go to the northwest ridge of Jane Peak and try and walk up there so we had a lot of rain yesterday uh, yesterday morning but it stopped raining at about 3:34 uh, o'clock so we had a couple of hours for uh, the sun to try and dry the ground out a bit. Yeah, it looks like um, there's a light valley breeze, but not too much wind. I'll, I'll just pull over and ask. I'll just pull over and ask this fella. G'day, mate. How's it going? What's the wind been doing? Has it been blowing from the north the whole time? Which way is it to the takeoff? Is it just up that ridge? The asteroid turf up there. No? All right, have a good day, mate. This is a bit rude. I'm just crossing the field. I'm about to start hiking up. I've got a bit of a bushwhack. Doesn't look too bad though. I've been, I've been spotted. I'm just walking up and I'm trying to find a nice place to take off. What I really want is somewhere that's nice and a bit flat so I can lay the glider out, not too steep. I don't want it too flat because it needs to be steep enough for me to take off. And ideally have it positioned somewhere above a obvious thermal trigger point. Now down there would be a good place. Nice rolling hill. Looks like an easy launch, but um, no obvious trigger points below the takeoff. That is the trigger point essentially. So I'm gonna keep going up and find somewhere so I can fly over this ridge. So it's gonna get sun on both sides. It's pointing towards the head of the valley. So any the valley wind that I had coming from the north before will flow up the spine. And I should get something coming off these sides. Um, but I don't wanna take off here because it's just rock and scree. So I'm gonna keep going further up. Looks like there's a nice spot just up there. Where it's uh, hopefully not too rocky. I'm on launch or somewhere where I want to launch and it's all rock and scree and crap and um, this side is much nicer. It's nice and um, grassy and would be a good takeoff but it's uh, on the lee side so I've got to figure out how to take off on this side amongst the rocks without breaking my glider. So the plan is to wait a little bit. It's uh, half 11 so maybe I'll start getting ready and then take off 12.30, something like that. And uh, I'm not in a massive rush because I'm not planning on doing a really big flight. I'd just like to fly for a couple hours and maybe have a look around over on, on these mountains over here. If I cross over the valley and come around the other side and back, that would be really cool. Right, I've had a bit of a wander around just to double check there's no patches of AstroTurf up here, but it's just rock. My, my plan is just to lay the glider out in a mushroom on top of this bush and then go down the rocks and then hopefully I can just get it up first go and take off on the on the steep rocky bit and but preserve the glider on the bush and um, the clouds have got a little bit of a lean on them you can see the hooks and the tops of this cloud over here so that sort of hook 
Yeah, the wind has picked up a bit. Um, I'm gonna wait for a lull. Break a line. Success. Fucking up like a rocket. Probably didn't have to launch so high up. Fucking hell. That's Jane Peak. Just there. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ, this is going off. That's the summit of Jane Peak. That's the Eries. And I can see over towards Kingston. This is exciting after a winter of stable air. There's Lake Wakatipu, uh, Mount Nicholas, Mavora is over there. That's the Vaughan River down there, and Cecil Peak is here. Oh, spectacular! So I think I'm going to try and push and get onto this ridge. I've got a bit of headwind, and then if I can climb up there, and then I'll, I'll, I'll probably run run back the way I came. So I've turned around. There's a bit of wind around. It's straight west. So um, I'm just being cautious. Checking the place out. That pass, you go over there, that Siri Creek, and it runs all the way through to Fairlight. Yeah, so I might um, see if I can climb up again on Jane Peak. I've also seen that there's a, quite a bit of wind down in the valley, so something to be aware of. I'm pretty sure it's coming from the northwest. It's quite hard to tell actually, but yeah, that, that lake's almost white capping. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more wind around than I interpreted in the forecast. I'm so happy I didn't break a line on the launch. It's so good. I really know what I'm doing here at the moment. I don't know. There's something weird going on today. If it's going up, I'll take it. So I think uh, the plan at the moment is to just go south. Try and get off the end of the Eries, but I'm pretty sure on the other side of that ridge is just shit loads of trees. A lot of wind on the Mavora Lakes. I've got to make a decision. I could pull the pin, land down there, or I can run away from it. I think I'll try and run. I've got this decent climb. That'll get me out of this valley, hopefully. Oh, just lost it. But yeah, it's definitely white capping on Mavora. And then it'll be a hitchhike back to the car, I think. Nice and high again. Got a bit of a headwind. Gonna push over to that knob. Oh no, over there.
and I can see the Hokanui range out in the Southland. Oh, I'm just coming up under this cloud. Oh, I think I'm above the Oreti. I think this is the Oreti. But it doesn't seem that active, so we'll see if it gives me anything. I don't think it will, if I'm being honest. Oh, I was wrong, it did give me something. So I've positioned myself on the upwind side of it. And uh, let's see if I can get up to it. It's got a bit of wind around. I've got four kilometers ground speed into wind. Imagine if I can get across the flats and link up with the Hokanui's. That would be amazing. I don't think it's going to happen though. It looks like it's working over there. Oh, I just got to just short of five grand. And uh, at some point, I'm pretty sure I was going backwards. I've left now and I'm doing 67 k's an hour. And I'm heading towards the wind farm, which is actually moving around. I don't know how windy it has to be for them to move like that, but the Hokanui's look on. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm going to make it, but wow, I imagine. might be the end of the road here. I'm kind of crabbing down the Oretti. Just want to make sure I land on the right side of it. Um, well, I'm not flying forwards anymore. All uh, right, let the speed bar out. Woo! This is exciting. Oh, a rabbit. expecting that fuck I need to get better at looking at the forecast oh wow um, I was not expecting it to be that windy today uh, maybe the forecast changed or maybe I just need to get better at reading it yeah exciting landing and we we're going quite fast in the end and crabbing we're flying sort of sideways down the already um, but I managed to land on the right side of it um, yeah I'm gonna pack up and uh, get to the road if I've got any chance of getting back to the van before dark which is about 50 kilometers away down a 40 kilometer unsealed road oh walking out to the road see if I can get a hitch not the busiest road it has been an hour Five o'clock, it's gonna be dark in an hour. They've only had about five cars go past, but usually the quiet roads are the best. Yeah, they feel sorry for you that they know there's no more cars coming, but yeah, no one's into it today. I don't particularly want to walk 40 kilometers, but I feel like if I'm walking and trying to hitch at the same time, people might be more likely to be 